I'm Bob Crow with Denison Yacht Sales. I am here to talk to you today about a beautiful yacht and her name is Cheers 46. Cheers 46 is a 116 foot Asmut motor yacht, it's a 2011 model year. What I'd like to do is also give you a brief walkthrough of this boat. Starting on the aft deck of, of Cheers 46, the uh, first thing you're going to find is there's you know this, this very large spacious aft deck, uh, you know, you know, beautiful seating areas, nice a nice table, then these large stainless steel doors that you walk through to enter the salon. This is a boat that's been very lightly used, she's never been chartered, and that really shows uh, from the very first second you walk into these stainless steel doors into the, into the main salon. Um, as you move forward in the yacht, you're going you're gonna to come to a formal dining area. It has a large uh, setting uh, for, you know, for your dinner parties. The yacht is serviced by a catering style galley. Uh, that galley is located on the uh, midship to the port side and what's nice about the setup of that galley is that when you uh, access the side decks uh, when, you're, when your crew is coming and going on the yacht, uh, they can get through uh, to the galley without walking through the salon. Uh, the way this yacht's designed to be serviced is from the side decks uh, through the galley uh, in a watertight bulkhead and then on the starboard side uh, into a mezzanine area. On, uh, through a watertight bulkhead, which is really a, a nice feature because it, it, it keeps the traffic out of the salon on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, moving forward from the salon, you're going you're gonna to go down the starboard uh, companionway into a mezzanine landing area, and that's going to access the cabins, a secondary galley access, and uh, a, a den area forward and the master stateroom. The way this boat's set up now, it's actually a four stateroom plus owner's uh, main cabin, which makes it a five plus crew. Uh, by taking that forward den area and converting it into, into another cabin, you get a six stateroom plus crew setup. So either or are possible, uh, even though it is currently set up as a five plus crew. Uh, moving aft from there, you're gonna, walk, so you're gonna come to two landings. One landing is gonna take you uh, below decks midship to four guest cabins. Those four guest cabins are set up in two different configurations with the two forwards uh, being side by sides with overhead drop downs for three separate berths in each cabin. And then the two aft will be both VIPs. The location of, that, of the master stateroom is uh, midship aft, which allows for you know, a very comfortable uh, position in the boat from a sea keeping standpoint. And then also the cabin has total separation and privacy. It's the, the, the access to that cabin only leads to that cabin, uh, which is an important feature in a, in, a, in a good master cabin on a yacht this size. Back to the mezzanine area, if you head midship starboard side, there's another access to the galley. This access is going to take you uh, through a swinging, uh, you know, restaurant-style door uh, into uh, into a very large catering-style galley. Uh, this galley was set up for both family day-to-day -day use. Um, the way the refrigeration and the freezers and the countertops are set up, it's it's very convenient with with your you know smaller cooktop items, smaller blender items, and coffee maker systems. Uh, but it's also set up for full-blown catering. It, it does have the storage, it does have the capacity, and it does have the refrigeration and freezer volume for that type of, uh, that type of operation. If somebody chose to charter this boat, um, it, would, it would make an excellent charter boat because of the layout, especially with the galley and the service of the boat. Looking uh, at, the, at the flybridge, I think the flybridge on this boat is the absolute main attraction as far as what, when most people are out there and they're shopping a, a yacht of this size and they're shopping the, what that yacht brings to them and, and why they're buying it in the first place. Um, I think it's a flybridge like this. So you get up on this flybridge, it is spectacular. Uh, there's first thing you're gonna notice that the main feature of this flybridge is this massive hot tub and, and all the seating that goes around the hot tub and then the ability to lay your chairs out behind the, this, this centerpiece of activity. It has a very large hardtop as well, which is retractable. When you go up there, you wanna be up there. Uh, also. On the flybridge is a, a pilot's uh, control station, so it is a proper flybridge, and you know, in that it's it's it is a control center for the boat. 116 is their crown jewel uh, for the Asmut line, and what people come to expect uh, when they're looking for an Asmut, and the reason why they do so well is the styling and the Italian flair of these boats. 